welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do some cinnamon buns and I'm going to be helped today by... Who is it? Sienna. Sienna. My daughter Sienna. So mm. before we go, it's worth mentioning where we got the recipe from. It's from Ashley Crafted on the internet. I'll leave a link down below. It's got all the measures in there and US measures, so cup and, and mm. stuff like that. We've converted them into English measures or UK measures. Um, but we've had to portion it down a bit because in that recipe we use plain flour. I've done it before and it is nice, but I just wanted this time to try it with bread bread flour, see how it turns out. So we portioned the measurements out to suit the 500 gram flour rather than the six and a half cup that's, that's referenced in the recipe that's going to be linked down below. Anyway, should we get started? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Right, so the first thing you need to do is get some 85 grams of butter and 250 milliliters of milk. Put it into, put it on the hob and just let it melt and then put it to the side and kill the ham. So what we need to do now, babe, is we need to get 200 grams of our flour yeah. into that bowl, right? Yeah. So tell me when we have 200. Yeah, look, look, here, look, display here. Yeah. So we have 200. We have 200, yeah. No. No. Oh, we'll get the day. Right, then. 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 So once you get to 270 grams, we know, we know we've got 70 grams of sugar. Keep here. When you get to 270. Yeah. 270. Oh. Uh, a little bit more. A little bit more. You don't touch the scales, baby, because it'll screw us. Are we there yet? There. Yeah? Yep. Two, seven. Right, so once the sugar's in, we need to then add the yeast. So, in the recipe that we're going to link below, it says two sachets, but because we've quartered it down a bit, it's only mm -hmm. going to be the one sachet for us. So, get the one sachet for that. Oh, and one sachet of yeast. That goes there. there we go. Yeah. And then we need one teaspoon, and what colour is the teaspoon? Measure it. What colour is it? A purple. Purple. So one teaspoon of salt. Yeah. One teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. And then you're going to mix it with when I put it in. Right, so let's take it off the scales now. Let's put the scales over here. Can you give it a bit of a stir now? That's it. Get it all mixed up nice. That's great. Right? Yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. That's lovely. Right. Yeah. So what we need to do now, babe, watch, mm -hmm. is we need to form a little Daddy, bit of Daddy, can I even cut the egg? Yeah, I'm going to need to put that in there, right? Well, we've cracked the egg open. Ew. The egg needs to go in. Yeah, the egg needs yep. to go in there. Egg needs to go in. And that's okay. gross. Then we need to put the water in as well. Yep, yeah. water in. Okay. So the water is going to be... 165 milliliters of water for us, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to put it in like this. And what we actually need to do as well, babe, is we just need to add this in, right? Butter, what's melted? The butter that's melted. Yeah. Right. Okay. Then what we're going to do, babe, is we're going to do that. Put that down. Let's plug it in. Let's yep. Plug that in. Oh, there we go. Right, so once you've got it mixed, you're looking for a nice thick dough like this. Yeah. Now the measures that we we said before, there wasn't quite enough flour, so we're gonna have to put another hundred grams of flour in, or seventy grams of flour. I apologize. So once we got to this stage, what we're gonna do then is we're gonna change the whisks into the Needham whisks, so we can get that nice, nice smooth, smooth dough. Right. So when you've kneaded. 
they'll lead for about five to ten minutes. You should start getting it to a, a nice smooth ball then. Um, I'm still not sure I've put enough flour in this one. But here we go. I'm just going to put some flour on the top. Mm -hmm. Can we just put some flour on the top here? Let's put flour there. Flour there, yeah, and I'll just do that on the top like that, right? Baby, let me go. Yeah, I just need to spread it on the top there, baby, like that, see? Because right, what we're going to do now is we're going to get the bowl. We're going to get our dough. Sticky, sticky dough. Yeah, Very sticky, sticky dough. Sticky, sticky, sticky dough. Bang. We'll get it. Oh, that's making, I'm making a meal out of this one, babe. Look at that. Ooh, that's a big. Oh, that's look a how, big dough. Look how gooey that is. Yeah, yeah. Eee, like I said, I don't think I've got more power than this. But anyway, let's see how it goes. We've done it now. We've got a crack on the way we've gone. Right, so what we're going to do is just get a little bit more flour and just sprinkle it on there because I don't like sticky dough. Do you like sticky dough? I don't like no. sticky dough. No. It's no. like oh, cradle. Oh. It's like sticky cradle. It is, yeah. It's, we didn't get enough flour on the top there, babe. Yeah. Hey, so, please add a little bit more flour on top of what I've done. I'd probably say another 50 grams, probably do it. So, given the measurements I've given for the fluids today. But you can just see how nice and soft that is. It's really lovely and soft. So what we need to do now is we just need to put a little bit of flour in our bowl here. We put a bit of flour in our bowl. Spread it round, spread it round like that. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to get our ball. It's so smooth. Yeah, isn't it? Look at that. Ooh, look at that. And then we've got to put it in there, babe. Yeah. So what we're going to do now is we're going to let it rise for about an hour or until it doubles in size. Right, correction, it's not an hour, it's 10 minutes. Leave the dough to rise for about 10 minutes. But while you're waiting for that to to do, do well that's right rising all day you need to do the um the filling now and yep. with the filling we've got we've got 360 mm. grams of brown sugar mm. and then we've got uh, 240 grams of butter mm. yeah and we also need two tablespoons mm. of cinnamon because we can't have a cinnamon mm. bun without cinnamon can we mm. no all right so let's get this all in here okay all right so let's show them it's going to be heavy work it's just heavy work here. Do we need the bread? Yeah, nope, we need the red one. The red one, because that's a tablespoon, you see. Tablespoon? So yes, yeah, so we're going to go. Look, I'm going to dip it in. Yeah, you can dip it in. Yeah, dip it. Here's one. Mm -hmm. That way, that, that way. That's mm -hmm. it. This, this one. one. And then we're going to do another one now. Mm -hmm. and, and two. And two. Right, let's put them over to the side. Yep. Right, so what we need to do is just work this all together and get it all nice and smooth. But this is what's going to go inside the cinnamon buns now. Right, so let's get this. Um, I've gone with the the smooth dark brown sugar. Um, I have in the past used the granulated type. I think I've just snapped your spatula, babe. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, oh dear, 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 dear. Okay, Daddy. And so, oops, I've snapped the door to spatula, so I'm just going to use this one. <laughs> Hopefully this will work. <laughs> How not to do the filling? <laughs> As you can see, it all starts to get nice and smooth. That now, babe, isn't it? Look. Look. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Just need this. That's lovely. Just need this bowl. Right. Now, what do we need that bowl for? What I need it. For? What do you need it for? Like this. All right, okay, you make another little, little cake there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you do your little cake there. Look how smooth that one is. I need a I would spoon. definitely recommend you get the smooth brown sugar. I need a teaspoon. I'll tell you that again when the stores has got the teaspoon. There you go, babe. Thank you. I'll try that again. You'll want to do the... I, I highly recommend you get is the smooth there, brown there, sugar. Are you okay, there? Yeah. Are you all right, there? Mm-hmm. Can I talk to the YouTubers so we can know what we're doing? Yeah. Well, okay, do you want to be quiet for a second then? Yeah. All right. I'll go again. Right. So I highly recommend the smooth brown sugar because I've done it with the granulated and it, it just, this is much better. This is much, much better. Nice and thick. Anyway, so what we need to do then is just get the snap spatula. <laughs> get the rest of it off there. And then. What I'm going to do is going to set this to the side. 
and get the get the dough. The dough's looking good. The dough's looking really good. I need a tiny bit of that. Right, okay. Can you just give us one second? Yeah. One little second. We're making cinnamon buns, aren't we? What are you making? Mm, a tiny cinnamon. A tiny cinnamon bun, right? Okay. After about 10 minutes, so it was a little bit longer for me there. Um, the dough's really rose, as you can see, it's really filled that bowl in now. So, what we need to do is just punch that down a bit and get it. Punch it, when you punch it, get it down. Is it stuck to your hand? No. No, alright. Oh, we know it's still a bit sticky though, look, isn't it? Yeah. Right. So, what we need to do then is we need to get the flour. Yep. Yeah. And spread the flour on the top again. Yeah. Alright, but we're going to put quite a bit more down this time. Alright, okay, so let's spread it like that. Don't, don't, no, you want it so it's on the top there, baby, like that, see? Right, so, what I'm going to do then is we're going to get the bowl and we're going to go to that bowl and get it in the sticky stuff there. Not mm. this time. We need a And let's put this to one side. Yeah. Sticky bit. So, what we need to do is get some flour. Yeah, 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 what's fun? Don't you get that side? And let's roll it. Roll it. Right. Yeah? It needs to be very good. Yeah. So, very spread out. Big, isn't it? It needs to be so very it, spread out. You want it long and in like an oblong kind of shape but when you come to do the roller, the, the rolling up of the dough, we need to make a fill it in. So, what we want though, baby, we need it nice and even, it's though, don't we? Um, why are you doing this? You need to preheat your oven up as well to about 185 degrees. So I've got mine on now, so once we've got this done, it should be nice and ready. Ooh, there. Right, right. So we've got a nice a nice bed there, haven't we? So what we need to do now, babe, is no we don't need to put flour on it. We don't need to do that. What we do need to do though is put our filling in. Yeah. Right, do you wanna no because they've now that's the flat head, isn't it? Yeah. That's flatter there now. Let's, let's punch that up and do that again. Oh, oh, sorry! Sorry, baby. Can I have the socks? <laughs> That's it, it's nice, sorry. Oops. <laughs> 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 you let me have the socks. Right, so. What we need to do then? Get our filling. Mm -hmm. Get our filling. And then just see if we start. Inside. Put inside. Let's see how it's going to spread. So it tastes like swimming. Yeah, and I'm just going to be careful here. We don't rip the the, uh, the dog. So I'll spread yeah. it as evenly as I can. Um, I'm not sure this is the best tool for it. Right, so once you've got it all spread out like that, what we need to do now is just roll it over, start from this end, and then we'll just give it a bit of a roll over. <laughs> And then we're going to just roll it over nice and easy. Nice and easy. And hopefully I've put enough flour on the top so it doesn't get stuck. And then we're going to go round and then oh, bring you back round. Oh, look at the size of that. Right, yep. so these are going to be big. These are going to be bloody huge. Right, so what we then need to do is just cut it in the half bit, in the halfway. Let's get that cut there, and then what we need to do then is just do some cut them into segments now. What you do need as well is a, a tin, and oh, I just put some parchment paper in, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to get these and just plop them in there like that. Right, and I'm only going to put two in this because they're just going to rise and, and, and they will probably meet each other. Because these look big. I think this is using the bread mix might have just been a bit of a mistake. But we'll see how it turns out and see how big they could go. I'm only going to put them two in for now. The rest will get cut up and put in the oven as well. Um, but what you need to do as well is melt some butter and then. Just drizzle a bit of butter over, melted no, butter over them like that. That's it. So it's nice. Yeah, and then nice. Now, oh. so what we do then, we stick these in the oven for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, 
lightly covered them with tin foil and then another 10 minutes. So let's see how these turn out. So while you're waiting for your cinnamon rolls in the oven to bake, you need to start doing the fillings. Now for this, this is a cream cheese filling. So we need 60 grams of butter. Mm -hmm. Top of Philadelphia. Yeah. I've gone with the light. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, it's going to be unhealthy, but I might as well put some healthy stuff in there. Yeah. Me too. Yeah, we do, yeah. And we need 200 grams of ice and sugar. We need yeah. one teaspoon of vanilla. And you want that to be a food coloring. Yeah, and we need, it's not vanilla essence. And we need three tablespoons of cream. Yeah. Three so, tablespoons of. Yeah. So let's, let's, hang on, hang on, hang on. let's get the ice and sugar in. Okay. Put that to one side. Okay. So what we need now is three okay. table three tablespoons of this. Yes, Hang on a minute, babe. Three tablespoons of our cream. Double cream, whipping cream. Yeah. Three tablespoons of this. Hang on, babe. Hang on, wait a lot. One. You counting them? Yeah. One. No, two. 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 And three. Let that go in there and we'll just rinse that off in a second. The cream now in for now. Cream. Now we need this. The cream cheese. Get the cream cheese. Philadelphia. Mmm, right. better watch. And then we're going to stick that over a, a little bit of heat and, and, and turn it into a nice little sauce. Mm -hmm. And for the butterscotch topping, we're going to need 60 grams of butter again, um, 90 grams of brown sugar. Yeah, put that in there, get that in. Um, we're going to need eight tablespoons of whipping cream. Mm. Hang on, babies, let me get this in. One, two, two three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, eight. And, and then what we need is one teaspoon of vanilla. Yeah, I want to do that. You want to do that? Yeah. Alright, you can do that. I can hold it on my own. Okay, you can hold it on your own. Let me put it in first. Do it. Excellent. And then what we need then is half a teaspoon of salt. We'll get our half a teaspoon. This is our half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon of salt. Mm, Boom. Yay. Yeah. Right, and then we just need to stick that on the stove. Ready for our cinnamon buns. It's now out of the oven and it looks absolutely amazing. It smells just like the ones on the Disney parks. We've got the yeah. toppings. Yeah. 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 So we've got the toppings. We're going to put the toppings down and we're going to give it a little bit of a taste, shall we? Hey. Yeah. Come on. Well, first things. I'm going to taste it. You're going to taste it. We're going to get the cream cheese topping and we're just going to smother that over. Over and over and over and over and over. And over. And what we're going to do then, we're going to show the camera before we eat into it how good this looks. All right. So let's get some mm. nice cream cheese on there. All right. Now, caramel. Now, the brown sauce. Oh, look at that. Mm, this is taking me right back to Gaston's Tavern in Magic Kingdom, this. Oh, gorgeous. So, this is what it looks like. I know it doesn't look exactly like the one in the park, but oh, let's see what it tastes like. Right, okay. Are you going to taste it? No. You're not going to taste it? Come on. You want to taste it? Yeah, you have this one. Come on. And tell everyone. Glow on it first, it's hot. That's it. That's it. And tell everyone what it tastes like when you get it. Come on. A bit off for you. What's it like? It tastes like it's from Magic Kingdom. Does it taste like it's from Magic Kingdom? Does it? Let's have a taste. Mmm. That's amazing. Really good. Mm. 
So that's the cinema bone. If you like what you've seen and you've enjoyed what you've been watching, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and it'll let you know whenever we load up uh, new new videos. Bye. We're not saying bye just yet. Just one more thing. So, if there's any like Walt Disney World snacks that you want to see getting baked, please leave the comment below, and we'll make the for you, and we'll make a video and see how it turns out. All right. But bye. until then, bye. Bye. bye.